So in our department, we have many different research areas. One of the really nice aspects of the Department of Geosciences at Baylor is that we're in the Baylor Sciences Building. And the Baylor Sciences Building is a 660,000 square foot um, facility that houses um, geosciences, biology, um, chemistry, physics, psychology, and environmental science. It makes it really easy to go down the hall and ask a world expert in um, whatever scientific discipline a question. And so because we have faculty that do a variety of things, we have researchers that have a lot of overlapping interests, but they have different expertise. And what that allows us to do is that allows us to collaborate across those disciplines within geoscience, um, which really improves um, our interdisciplinary research and it really improves the graduate student and undergraduate research experience. My current research focuses on understanding macroevolutionary processes and also macroecological processes in the history of life in invertebrate marine communities. The degree of academic freedom that I have here, I am basically free to explore all of these projects that, to look at them at face value, are very different from each other and deal with fossil record from all different places in the world. The same way I enjoy really broad academic freedom in what I study, I also give that benefit to my students as well. So as long as they're pursuing uh, projects that are interesting, that are big picture, and that are contributing to broader knowledge in paleobiology and evolutionary sciences, I give my students the freedom to work on whatever projects they want. Another great thing about Baylor is we have many different shared instrumentation facilities. Faculty are always open to having students working in their labs and it provides lots of opportunities for hands-on experience actually using instruments and then being able to incorporate the data that you generate from those instruments into your dissertation or master's or undergraduate projects. For anyone who does quaternary research, Waco Mammoth National Monument is a unique resource. It is an Ice Age bone bed located in Texas. You could probably go to just about any university and research fossils from a public site like this for your doctoral research. What sets us apart is that they have gone out of their way to create opportunities not just for graduate research but also for undergraduates. And I get to mentor an undergraduate and hopefully help him pick out a grad school, set him on his career path. And that's special. That's something I would have given anything for when I was an undergrad. The specific goal of my project is to develop a new proxy for fire temperature and fire intensity using solid state NMR techniques to chemically analyze the structure of charcoals. While I mainly focus on fire, I've also been involved in collaborations on soil biogeochemistry with uh, researchers in Colorado. It's been great to use the techniques that I've learned here at Baylor to explore this new field. Gravity data helps us inform us about the internal structure of Mars by telling us how dense rocks are as you move across the surface of Mars. So by studying Mars and its geodynamics and thermal evolution, we can learn about what Earth may have looked like, what it's going to look like. Mars doesn't have a magnetic field, but it used to have one. So Mars could be an example of what Earth may look like in a future where its magnetic field has gone dormant. The Baylor Geosciences Department have helped me in a lot of ways regarding to progressing my research. Having a lot of support for undergrads doing research, I've been able to do a lot on this project that I never would have thought I would have gotten to do as an undergrad. And so I've just had a lot of opportunities and research has been really accessible to me, which has been really great at Baylor.